morning, everybody. I am, I'm a little behind. I'm just finishing up my notes here for the sale. Oh, man. Yeah, it's been one of those mornings. <laughs> oh, can I have five more minutes, please? <laughs> but I hope everybody is uh, off to a good start today. Uh, leap day. Yeah, our bonus day today. Woohoo! <laughs> I plan on uh, using every second of the bonus day today. I'm telling you, it is. It, it's going to be a great day. But man, oh man! All right, I got. What have I got? Um, one more. One more. All right. There. Um, yes, and I see Thomas in the chat, and yay, congrats, Thomas. Um, Sue sent me some pictures. My phone will not download them. I don't know why. It just, it will not download them. I don't know if they're too big or what the deal is, but uh, yes, congrats to the new grandparents. That is awesome. And um, yeah, Sue said at least last night that everybody was doing great. And um, yeah, so congrats, congrats, congrats to the new grandparents. That is awesome. Um, I don't I don't know anything else um, about them. I don't know weight. I don't know size. I don't know if names have been discussed. Um, so that I don't know. I'm still waiting, waiting for updated information. If Thomas knows anything and can put that in the chat, um, that would be great. Uh, but yeah, super, super excited. Um, super excited for everybody, everybody in the family. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, so I am going to say hello to Denise. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Poppy. Hello, Jamie. Hi, Sarah Lee. Hello, Anne Marie. Hi, Gina. Um, but yeah, yeah. So that is, that is wonderful, wonderful. Um, and yeah, I hope everybody is doing great. Um, I would imagine they're going to, um, be Thomas, not me. Talk about the babies. Talk about the babies in the chat. Everybody wants info on the babies. So tell us what you know. <laughs> we want to hear all the good stuff. Um, hello, Kim. Hi, Sharon. Uh, yeah. So if you were with us yesterday, um, Let's see. Do you need a wrench? No, Mary, you do not need a wrench in order to uh, purchase. Um, it's just that people who, who frequently come to the sales, whenever I update them, um, you know, I, I turn people into wrenches. It's like once I kind of get a feel for, for who you are and if you purchased from me and, and everything, um, then, um, then I, I turn you into a wrench, but otherwise, um, yeah, I just, I just haven't updated. That's all it is. I just haven't updated it yet. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you were with us yesterday, um, for the double sale, double sale Wednesday, you saw that Kim from Oh My Vintage joined me and Jen yesterday for our double sale. And um, hello, Donna. Um, uh, yeah, and if you missed it, hey, you can go back and watch the replay. We had a lot of fun yesterday. And um, yeah, and looking forward to next month when Kim will be joining us again. It's going to be great. Um, let's see, what else? What else is going on on our bonus day? Well, this is, where is my ruler? Uh oh, oh, there it is, way under the table. Um, 
No, Thomas, Thomas, we want info on the babies. T Thomas, tell us info on the babies. Give us, give us some updates. Um, let's see. So this is my one and only sale today. I am planning on um, just kind of hanging out today. It's going to be going to be kind of a rainy day here. And I am going to be um, spending most of the day upstairs um, doing some packing and invoicing. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get my room organized. I've got some ideas on what I want to do with um, kind of organizing my space a little better. And I've kind of got all the materials um, in order to, to kind of get where I want to get. Yeah, it, it's going to require some stuff. <laughs> so um, uh, yeah, so that is, is kind of what I'm hoping to kind of pack an invoice and kind of re reorganize the space. Um, so those are kind of my plans for today. Um, and I think I can accomplish quite a bit of that. I'm, I'm looking forward, um, to that. Um, yeah, Thomas, you guys are going to have so much fun with the babies. You are going to have a blast and, uh, yeah, so I'm so excited. Everybody is, uh, I'm sure, napping and resting comfortably. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. And yeah, I hope they get to come home soon. Um, it seemed like their weight was going to be pretty good. I think the last time Sue updated us, uh, she said that they were in the six pound range, which is fantastic for twins. That is, that's awesome for them to be, you know, up in the six pounds. So I'm sure once they check out that they're, they're breathing well, they're eating well, all that good stuff that they will get to come home. And, uh, and then we'll get to hear more information about, um, you know, like I, I, cause I haven't heard, and maybe you guys have heard, um, you know, is there a color theme? for the room or you know are there characters or animals or other things that are kind of the theme for the room um so yeah so i'm kind of hoping to get a little more info hi anna uh get a little more info on um you know just so we can kind of kind of visualize you know where where the babies are going to be hanging out um yeah so, uh, so yeah, so, um, so yeah, if, as I find out more or if Sue posts on Instagram, anything, um, I will let you guys know, um, you know, if, if I hear anything, um, I will certainly pass on the information. Um, let's see. Hi, Joe Lita. And, um, yeah. And Gina, thanks for letting us know. And yeah, so, so sorry to hear about that for Angie and, um, yeah, definitely send my condolences to Angie. I, I know how hard that is. Um, we're still, we're still dealing with it here. So yeah, I, I know how hard that is. Um, but it is wonderful to see everybody and, Last night, as I was getting ready for the sale, I went, huh, I, I've still got a little, like, I, I've still got a good chunk of Easter and the things that can kind of be incorporated into Easter. And so I thought, you know what, today is, is going to kind of be a big variety, but a little more Easter themed. Um, just to kind of get stuff so that I can still get everything out and you guys can get it and enjoy it for Easter as we are here now on the last day of February, our leap day. And um, let's see, let's go ahead and get started with the sale. Hi, Sherry. And it is so great to see everybody. Um, but we are going to start with some $1 items. 
Let me get my $1 up in the chat here. All right. Oh, let me get my pen going. Okay, so the first $1 item I have is a little gift bag. Now this, yes, you could put a little gift in it. Just like that. It looks like a little Easter basket with handles. You can just use it for decor also. You can put... Um, you can put any kind of Easter display in here. And yeah, so you can use it for Easter. You can use it for, uh, or for display. You can use it for a gift. You can use it as an Easter gift basket or just an Easter basket. Fill it full of fun goodies. So that one is a dollar. Now, I don't know. I, I don't think I will be doing another Easter sale. So anything that doesn't sell, I'll probably just tuck away. Um, but we'll give you another chance on items. I'll bring things around for the speed round again. So anything that doesn't sell will come around. We'll do the speed round. Um, and I will be doing everything for the vlog the what's still available, what sold. Um, you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog to give things one more opportunity. But then, yeah, then we're going to, I'll just pack them away and we'll just hang on to them for next year. Or who knows, maybe we'll do, like we do Christmas in July. I don't know. Maybe we'll do Easter in August. I don't know. I'm just making that up. And hello, Angela. Hello, Mike. And I do see Angela in for the wonderful little Easter basket gift bag. And I am going to count that down. Going once. Going twice. And oh, let me get my sold in here. And sold to Angela. Thank you. Okay, next up for a dollar is a little rabbit Pez dispenser. He does have feet. He is nice and clean on the inside. So a super cute Pez dispenser in a pink rabbit. Oh, yes. That's a great idea. I do not have Pez candy, but you can get just the Pez candy. So $1 for the rabbit. All right. Then I have got a little chick, also Pez dispenser. <laughs> I know the nice thing with Pez is you get that, you get the sweet, you get the crunchy, you get all that good stuff with it. And it's not too big. It's just a nice, nice size. And Sharon is in for the chick. Thank you, Sharon. And we will count that down. Going once. Going twice and sold to Sharon. Thank you. Okay, this one I kept, you could tell I was in a hurry this morning. I kept writing duck. It's not a duck, it's a chick. <laughs> My brain was going, it's yellow, it must be a duck. No, it's a chick. So this is, somebody made this. It is a little beanie. So you can feel the little beans in here. Um, he's holding a really pretty little hand-painted egg. He has a little wooden head. 
And then you can see a little bow around where they gathered everything and kind of glued it on. But a cute little display. A little uh, chick, little beanie chick. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Whew. <laughs> like, like the Viking chick, right? Just like Becky, the Viking chick. <laughs> and we are going to count that down for Sharon. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Ooh, I swear that is my, my first sneeze of the day. Holy cow. Where did that come from? Okay. Um, next up, this is an item that does have some damage to it. It's still pretty cool. And it's very possible somebody could do a little fix on this. But it is this really neat decoupage egg. You can see it is really nice. Oops. That's probably how it happened. One of the ears, one of the ears is broken off. And I do not have it in order to repair it. But it is a really neat, very well done decoupage egg. But it does have just one ear. Cute little straw-like hat. So that one is $1. Oh, yes, yes, Sharon, I did see that. I was I was running a little behind. But yes, I saw your note. And yes, you, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yes, you did get that. You are... You are the person that that is going to. That was a lot of words. That was hard. All right. This this day is going to be tough. I can tell already. <laughs> I know. You will get a reply from me confirming that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so this is a little gift box. It is a cardboard gift box. It has a little handle on it, and it is from, oh, Rite Aid, Rite Aid. So it has the glittery rabbit and chick, who you can see has little bunny ears on. It has that on the front and the back. The sides are just little zigzags. And then they got really creative and they used like shoelaces here for the handle. So a super cute little gift box. Again, very glittery rabbit. And then the little chick has the bunny ears. It's a pretty good size box. You definitely could use that um, as an Easter basket. And Angela is going to take that one. Thank you, Angela. And I will count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Angela. Thank you. Okay, now let's see. That, this, and this. Okay. And there. All right. Um, if you have an Easter village um, or if you're setting up just a regular display, this is kind of like angel hair used to be for Christmas villages. Well, this is called a bunny blanket. And you can take it out, lay it out across your little um, display area. 
And then you have like a little grassy area for your little ceramic houses. Maybe you have ceramic Easter bunnies you like to put out. And so this is just a fun little way of having just something down, maybe on top of a table, just to make the display look, you know, a little more festive for Easter. But that is considered a little bunny blanket. And it's a nice way, especially if you do have a ceramic village uh, set out. It's a nice way of protecting your tabletop so that the ceramic pieces don't scratch it. And let's see, it says that this is uh, 12 by 30, and it was from Kmart. So how about that? That's fun. So that one, $1 for the bunny blanket. Flame retardant, I guess that's good if you're going to light candles on it. But yeah, you can use, it's nice because you could even put that down, um, you know, if you're having a, um, a Easter dinner, you could put that down the center and um, then put like some Easter displays on top. And again, you don't have to worry about your um, surfaces. That'll protect them. Um, all right. We are, we are going to go up to $2 starts now. Um, all right. I have got a pair of earrings. So these are little rabbits on top of a little egg. It is a cut piece of like clear plastic. And this is, um, oops, there we go. This is um, on the front side of the plastic. These are hook style earrings. And I'll show you Ooh, I'll try to show you both of them. There's one and there's the other. So really cute little rabbits on top of an Easter egg. And oh, you'll take that. All right. Thank you, Angela. All right, and going once, going twice, and sold. Thank you. All right, so the earrings are $2 for the little rabbits. Okay, next for $2 for the stamp crafters, I've got this cute one. Now, not necessarily Easter, Easter, but springtime. You can see it's like little alternating little patches and flowers. Here is the back. So it is just a nice silicone stamp. And there is the cute design. And that one is $2. And I'll hold it back here so you get a nice size for the row it's going to make. Uh, that's about three. Is that about three? Three and a half inches, actually. About three and a half inches for the design. And Sherry is in for that one. Thank you, Sherry. And we'll count you down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. All right, I've got another stamp. I've got a couple stamps here. This one, a cute little hat with some flowers. Thought if anybody was creating anything, maybe with an Easter bonnet, 
That could be really cute. Here is the stamp. So this one is about a two by two. And it is, uh, let's see, VAP. VAP scrap. <laughs> And Sherry is in for the hat. Thank you, Sherry. And going once, going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, next up, another little springtime looking one with these cute flowers. This is another two by two, but really cute little flowers. Definitely could make them very springtime looking. This one is Hero Arts. And they call that, oh, lollipop flowers. That's cute. And Sherry will take that stamp. Thank you, Sherry. And going once, going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, another flower. Oh, I see some. Oh, see, somebody wrote top on that one. Well, thank you. That was very helpful. <laughs> so that one, I don't know. Orchid? Is that one an orchid? Let me see. Does it say? Oh, it doesn't say anything on that one. I'm going to say orchid on that one. What do you think? But that's nice. Somebody wrote top up there so you can always get your direction. But you could. Again, depending on how you were doing a design, maybe if you were doing a circle, you think daffodil could be a daffodil with that little little trumpet part out there. It's amazing how many flowers look alike, isn't it? <laughs> All right, we will bring that one back for the speed round. And then I've got one more here. It's a cute little vase with flowers. I like the way they did that. Very 70s feel with the colors on there. There is the back. So you can see you get the little flower right there on the vase, plus the three flowers coming out of the vase. This is also a two by two. And Sherry is going to take that one. And this is by Sarah Bees. Super cute. And we'll count that one down for Sherry. Going once, going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, um, now this one is a decoupage egg. It's just, just the decoupage on its own. It's got all of these cute little rabbits and Easter eggs. Really adorable design. You can see the little rabbits have little flowers around their neck. And this is a decoupage egg. It's very lightweight, a little fragile, but really nice display with all the bunnies. And then I think it does, does it repeat? Oh, no, it doesn't. <coughs> I thought maybe the design repeated, but no, it doesn't. Oh, we. I think we have a little smash right here. All right. So because this one does have a little damage in it, you know what? We're going to do this one for free. So just type egg 
egg in the chat if you would like this one for free and just know that there is a little damage right here right there on it still years and years of um being able to use this and mary ellen is gonna claim that one yeah i didn't notice that there was that little little bit of damage there that's that is one of the the hazards of using the right real eggs i mean they're lovely but every once in a while, yeah, you get that little bit of damage on there. Um, but not gonna not gonna ruin it. I'll make sure I'll do my best to make sure no more damage happens to it. Get it in some bubble wrap. It'll be it'll be good. All right, I have got a little figurine next. This cute little bear with a basket and a hat. Here, I'll put the little put the little sold in there just in case I need to find it again. Um, there is a little chip right here on the side towards the back of the cute little resin bear. So adorable little bow tie, little basket of flowers, lovely flowers in the hat. This one says, uh, hand-casted, hand-painted, 1993. So it is 30 years old. Still pretty good looking for 30 years old. Uh, the little bear is almost four inches tall. So cute to add to a little Easter display. That one is $2. Okay, then I have this lovely little vase. Yeah, it is a mini porcelain vase. And it has these beautiful flowers. And these are really, really pretty flowers. Now you can move them around a little bit to rearrange them. And Sherry is in for two for the flowers, but this whole thing is just about, ooh, like maybe one and three quarter inches. And the width of the bouquet is about an inch and a quarter. It's teeny. It is absolutely teeny. But realizing how small it is, Look how detailed everything is. It is gorgeous. All right. So we've got Sherry in for two. And I am going to count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. I'm amazed at the detail they could get on that piece. It's incredible. That is, that's above my skill level. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Let's put you right there where you're nice and safe and protected. Okay. Then I've got a little mini rabbit. He is porcelain. There is the bottom. So he is a little porcelain rabbit. You can see his little feet are detailed. And he is, he's a pretty itty bitty. I'll hold him back here so you can see. So if you've got a little miniature Easter display, he is about an inch and a quarter long. And about, is he an inch and a quarter? Yeah, he might be an inch and a quarter tall also. Thank you, Mary Ellen. He is really, really petite and cute. And really long ears. <laughs> 
And we will count that down for Mary Ellen. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mary Ellen. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. We are going up to $3. Three dollars next, and that I'm just double checking that I'm grabbing all the the ones for the speed round. All right, trying to keep things organized. Let's see if I can accomplish that. All right, we are going up to a three dollar start. There it is. And look at this cutie. So we've got a little, is it porcelain? No, I don't think it's porcelain. I don't know. Part of it kind of feels porcelain, but part of it doesn't. Huh. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's porcelain or not. But look at this cute little miniature doll in a purple bunny outfit. Now, it looks like somebody handmade this outfit just for the bunny. Oh, does that open? No, I think they just sewed it shut right there little lace around the face and then look at those little bunny ears oh my gosh this is so cute so all together this is about three and a half inches tall and about two and a quarter wide look how cute that little bunny is and thank you mary ellen we've got sharon at four and look at that sweet little face. Oh, my goodness. So we will count that down for Sharon. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. Okay, a little bunny figurine. This is, it's got something written on the bottom. Let me see what it says. Oh, it says Hong Kong. So a vintage plastic Hong Kong rabbit. He's got a little straw hat on. Got a cute little smile. He's got lashes for days. As Kim would say, got a little cottontail coming out the back of his overalls. So vintage Hong Kong rabbit. He is about two and a half inches tall and about one and a half inches wide. <laughs> and there he says hong kong on the bottom so he is three dollars all right next up i've got a bracelet now these are plastic beads made to look like stones it's a very lightweight bracelet it's got a cute little rabbit charm on it. Lots of stretch on this one. There's the little charm. So again, you get the look of stone without the weight of stone. It's a very lightweight bracelet. And that one is $3.00.
All right, then I've got, now these are glass beads. So pink glass beads. And you get a little rabbit and a little crown. And I'll show you what that one looks like on. It's still very stretchy. But a cute little bunny with a crown and pink glass beads. Thank you, Sharon. And we will count that down for Sharon. Oh, going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. All right, I've got some earrings next. These, um, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five different designs in this style. And so these are uh, pieces of plastic that have been cut out and then the image is on them. They're all gonna be hook style earrings. And so here is the image on this one. We've got an egg shape scene. Uh, we've got a little chick, we've got some flowers, we've got a beautiful house in the background. And so this pair of earrings is $3. So this one is the chick and the house or barn. Can't quite tell if it's a house or a barn. So there's that design, $3. Then I have a little birdhouse with some flowers. I don't think there's a bird in this one. I think it is just the bird house. And then here is the other one. So those are $3. Okay, then we have a rabbit, oops, turn around. There we go, a rabbit, some flowers, and a little egg-shaped house. A really cute little bunny with a little scarf around his neck. So $3 on those. All right, then this one is a little egg-shaped birdhouse with a little blue bird and some pretty flowers. So here is the other one. Oops, there we go. So a little egg-shaped birdhouse with a little bluebird. All right, and then the last one I have in this style is a little yellow bird with a birdhouse and flowers in an egg shape. So cute little birdhouse with a little yellow bird and pretty little flowers. And these are all gonna hang down just below your earlobe. So I'll show you back there how they look. Okay. Then I have little rabbits. So rabbits in an eggshell 
little floral eggshell. They've got little flowers on top. This is also cut out of clear plastic. These are gonna hang down a little lower. So they are a little larger. They're gonna hang a little lower. So $3 for the rabbits in pink. And then I have the rabbits in an aqua color with blue and some other springtime colors. But a little different floral design in a kind of aqua egg. And those are $3. All right. Then I've got a couple more stamps, rubber stamps for crafting. These ones are about three by three inches. And I've got this cute little bunny with some flowers. Here is the back. You can see all the cute little flowers around. And this one does not have a mark. Not sure who made that. But about a three by three inch. And Sherry is in for that one. It's pretty cute. And we'll count that down for Sherry. Going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you. Now, the next one I have, I have two of. This one has been a little more used than the other one, but a cute little sheep or lamb. I'll show you the back. So I've got two of those available. Very happy. Kind of looks like he's dancing. <laughs> and Sherry is in for that one. Thank you, Sherry. And uh, let's see. That down. And we'll count that down. Going once, going twice. Oh, I should have said choice. And Sherry, would you like one or would you like both of them? Let me know if you would like both or if you would like just the one. So I will. Watch the chat for Sherry's response on that one. All right. Thank you, Sherry. And if anyone else would like the other uh, sheep or lamb, let me know. Okay. Next up is this cute rabbit. White rabbit with pink detailing. Cute little pink eyes, little pink in the ears. This one is from Japan. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. Get that to pop out just a little bit. SB made in Japan. So he's got a little airbrushing. Oh, does he have a, was that a break? I did not even see that. No, I think he, it's just dirt. Not a break. I just didn't get that part clean. I got his top top a little clean. Forgot to clean off his little bottom feet there. So he does have a little pink airbrushing on him. Looks like he's laughing. Got a little cotton tail in the back. Thank you, Mary Ellen. And he is, let's see, from the top of his ear, he's about four inches tall. 
and about four inches by two inches, except his ears. They're about three inches. Yeah, he is having a good time. And we will count that down for Mary Ellen. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Mary Ellen. Thank you. All right. Uh, next up, I have got some more of the decoupage eggs. These ones, however, move you. Okay. These ones are a little more detailed. So they have a little string on top for hanging. They have little ears. So this one is a little bunny and he's got an egg. Well, he's got several eggs in his hand, but these are decoupage eggs. You can see he's got his little cotton tail in the back. So a little more detailed because they do have the string for hanging. Hi, Jan. And the cute little ears. And here, we'll do a sneak peek, okay? So I do have this. This is a, hi, Lucinda. Hi, Jan. Um, I have, hi, Susical. Uh, this is a pink Easter tree. And so it has all of these branches on it. Now, this is available. It is going to be for $5, but... I'll show you what you can do. So here we have the little bunny. I'm going to put him right here. And so you can see why it has the little squiggles so you can hang things. So that one, the little bunny with holding the eggs, that one is $3. And I'll put him right there. Then. I have a little chick. Now, the chick is missing a little bit right here. However, I do have it. I do have that piece right there to put back on. So here is the little chick. He's got little wings. And he is for $3. He is a decoupage egg. And again, I have that little piece that goes there. All right. So the little chick, we're going to put him right here. Let's see. Let's put him right up here. And again, you've got these little squiggles. And these can separate out. So you can, um, you can display them however you would like. Okay. Then we've got the one with the carrots. All right, here is another little decoupage egg. This rabbit is holding the carrots. Oh, he's got his gardening tools, his little cotton tail. So again, the decoupage eggs are $3 each. The Easter tree is $5. And, um, oh, and Susical is in for the rabbit with the, the carrots. Thank you, Susical. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And, oops. And sold to Susical. Thank you. Um, yes, these were real eggs. They were real eggs. They hollowed them out and then they decoupaged on top. So, yep, those are real eggs. And hi, Apple. All right, so I'll show you the two. There, these two are still available. 
Um, next up is the rabbit with flowers. So this rabbit has a little basket of flowers. So yep, a real decoupage egg. This one I think was a jumbo egg. This one's a little bigger. It is just a little bit bigger. Really cute design. And so that one with the flowers is $3. And the tree is available. So the tree is available for $5. And I'm just kind of showing how you can display these wonderful pieces. And Susical is in for the one with the flower basket. And going once, going twice. And sold to Suzical. Thank you. You used to make those? Oh, nice, Jan. That's wonderful. That takes, that must take a lot of patience to do like this bottom work here. <laughs> that looks really hard. Uh, I, I do remember doing that once as a kid. And yeah, it is really hard to blow that out. You're right. So this rabbit has is holding little rabbits. Really cute. Again, little cotton tail. Cute little ears. But this one is really, really cute. He's holding the little bunnies. And so that one is $3. I'm going to hang him up here. And um, and yeah, and just again, the tree is available for $5. And each of the eggs are also $5. You made a lot of scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Jan. Yeah, with all those leftover eggs, exactly. What else are you going to do with them? <laughs> And Susical for this one, going once, going twice. And oh, oh, Barb came in on this one. Barb is at five for the one with the bunny holding the bunnies. So we've got Barb in for that one. Barb at five. All right. Thank you, Susical. And we'll count that one down for Barb. Going once. Going twice. Oops. Am I hitting the right stuff here? There we go. And sold to Barb. Thank you. Okay, the next one is, ah, we've got a rabbit holding some cute little chicks, or maybe a chick and a duck. So he's cute with his little pockets. And I'll, ooh. I'll get my hand in here so you can see the detailing. And that one is $3. And I'm going to hang it up here. There. All right. Then we've got uh, this one. So this one is holding a pretty bouquet of flowers. Yeah, and what's nice about this is the all the little squiggles on here really do help you place, um, place these where you would like them to be on the tree for display. 
So this one, oh, he's got, look at that little, he's got little bunnies across the bottom. So this one with the bunny and the bouquet. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess the color, the color might be a little more muted on these than maybe on this one. This one might be a little more vibrant. These two might be just a little more muted in their coloring. So that one is $3. Here, let me get, uh, oh, here, I'll move this over. Let's see. See, again, these are all totally movable. You can put them wherever you like. And then, here, we'll put that one out there. Like that. There, we'll hang him right there. And, oh, you can't see that one. Let's see, can we put him here? Oh, a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see. Then I've got one more, and it is a little chick. And she's got a little bow. Oops, a little bow on top. Some flowers. All right, so those are three dollars each, and I'll put that there. And then the tree. Oh, and Susical will take. Let's see this one, and I do have the piece. So this one here with the little bit, yeah, I've got I've got the piece that goes right there, right there. And Susical is taking that one. Thank you, Susical. Okay. So then the rest of these I will bring back for the speed round. I will bring um, the tree back for the speed round, but the tree is also available for $5. And I'll give you one more look. This one is the rabbit with the eggs. This one is the chick with the little bow. This one is the rabbit with the chick and the duck. And then this one is the rabbit with the flowers. And then the tree is also five. All right. So we'll bring those back. Uh, let's see. I've got some more jewelry. Uh, this is going to, oh, sorry, I didn't clear my screen. If I don't notice and I don't clear my screen, tell me in the chat to clear my screen. <laughs> but those were all $3. Those were all $3 for the eggs. And then the tree was $5. So ignore what was on the screen. I forgot to clear it and put it back to a $3 start. But it is $3 each for the eggs. All right, because we are now going up to $4. And I have a necklace. It is a cross. It's a silver tone cross. Uh, it is a 19-inch chain. Oh, so Barb is claiming the rabbit with the eggs. All right. Thank you, Barb. And the rabbit with the flowers. All right. Thank you, Barb. And just in case I need to check my notes. Sold. So let's see, this one is the rabbit with the flowers. And this one is the rabbit with the eggs. Thank you. 
All right. So this is a 19 inch chain. This is a beautiful cross. It's all done with clear rhinestones. Now it's not very big, um, but you can see it, it does have a lot of detail and it is very sparkly. So wearing this, I'll show you up. Ooh, I'll try to show you. So it is a very petite cross on a 19 inch chain. Thank you, Sherry. And it is beautiful with all of the clear rhinestones on it. And I like all the different shapes that they use. Really makes it stand out. And there it is. We will count that down for Sherry. Going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, now I have been trying to figure out if these are egg holders. I think they might be. I think they might be egg holders. They're not candle holders. Um, and they do fit like um, like one of these eggs does fit in there. So I'm going to think that there's some kind of a decorative egg holder. Um, you're going to get both of them for $4. They are these cute little rabbits. And the carrots. Now, these were for sale at a very, very posh, like very posh gardening store that was in my area for $5 each. Um, gosh, and that store has been closed now for, let's see, it's four, five, six six or seven years at least that that store has been closed. So who knows when, who knows when they sold these. But you're going to get both of them and you can use them as little decorative egg holders. And thank you, Sherry. And they're made out of some kind of a resin. And, um, well, actually my, my thingy is good now, but thank you. <laughs> and, um, oh, hi, Rebecca. Rebecca is in for five. Thank you, Rebecca. Oops. What did I just hit? Oh, I just hit something. Oops. And Sherry is in for six. I just hit something. And now my, the brightness of my screen has gone down. Why? There we go. <laughs> but after this round after this round if i don't clear it and go back to a four dollar start then yes tell me to clear my thingy <laughs> absolutely and we'll see if rebecca would like to come in at seven or higher for the pair They are identical. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. And we will count that down. Uh, oh, there it is. For Sherry, going once, going twice, and sold to Sherry. Thank you. And thank you, Rebecca. Okay, I have another cross. Uh, it's a cross and earring set. It's going to start at $5. It is silver tone. And the necklace is a 
18 inch necklace and I'll show you the cross. So 18 inch necklace. It does have two blue birds on it. So right here and right here are blue birds. And then there are like some vines that are through the, through the cross also. And the earrings are identical. So here's the earring with the two bluebirds and the vines through. So you are going to get the whole set. Ooh, come on. There we go. There's the set of earrings and there is the, um, the cross. So the whole set, $5, and then this does have the two beautiful birds on it. Exactly, exactly. It would be a lovely set and something very nice to put in someone's Easter basket. Make a lovely gift for someone. And Suzical is in. Thank you, Suzical. And we will count that down. Going once. Going twice. Oops. Oh, can I hold them up to my ears? Yes. I'll get in close. How's that? And then I can hold, I can hold this up here so you can see they are about an inch and a half. They're about an inch and a half long. All right. Thank you, Suzical. And sold. I already did the going once, going twice. <laughs> We'll just go straight to sold. Thank you. Um, oh, all right. Here is a cute little set. It's going to start at, um, oh, for your mother-in-law. Nice. Very nice. Uh, this is a salt and pepper set. It is going to start at $5. It is marked S and P on top. They do have their corks or plugs on the bottom. And I'll hold each of them up so you can see. So a cute little salt and pepper set. And Sherry is in. Thank you, Sherry. They are super cute. And they are about three inches tall. Or do they go like that? Might go a little more like that. Like he's given her another flower for her pretty bouquet. And we will count that down for Sherry. Going once. Going twice and sold to Sherry. Thank you. Okay, uh, next I'm going to do things a little out of order. We're going to go up to $8 because I have kind of goes with them a cream and sugar set. Oops, let me highlight my eight. So the cream and sugar set is going to start at $8. Now he has, I don't know if it is a chip chip. It could be little, little spot back there. Now this, this one is part of the design because the little flowers 
are right there. Um, but a really cute little set. And these are uh, 1994. So there is the little creamer. Again, you don't have to use these as cream and sugars. You can use them as part of a display to display other items. Maybe you have some Easter picks. They would be really cute. And then here is the sugar. It is the lidded sugar. It does have a little spoon. Is a little plastic spoon inside. But there she is. And there is the top. And it's got the little indent right there for the spoon. Let's see. Nope, it goes just like that. There we go. And so that is eight for the pair. And thank you, Sherry. And we'll count that down. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sherry. Thank you. Um, oops. Yes, let me show you. Here, I'll show you. They kind of. I think, well, the, ah, they're, they're not marked, but I do think that they are pretty close to being a set because like he's dark and she's light and then she's dark and he's kind of light. So they do all look like they go together. They've got the same kind of flowers. So yes, I do. I do think that they are part of the same set. But I know not everybody likes, you know, everything to necessarily be matchy matchy, but um, but they do look great together. Uh, all right, we did the Easter tree. Okay, I'm going to go into some plushes. And they are going to start at $5 for the plushes. And up first... I've got a gnome. Let me get him highlighted there. All right. So we've got the gnome. And he is a big gnome. He's got his little Easter egg right here. He's got a cotton tail. He's got a very flat bottom. So he sits great on his own. He's got little ears, his little bunny ears. But he's got his little gnome beard. Yeah, he's got he's got like a cross between like whiskers for um for like the rabbit and his little gnome beard. Uh, now the top here it has a wire in it. So if you want to like bend his top, you can. You can bend it any way you want to, or it can be just straight up. He is almost 12 inches tall and he's got little feet when he sits. He's got his little egg. So a cute little Easter gnome. And he is $5. We'll put him here. Uh, let's see. Then, well, I grabbed this dog because... It's in pretty pastel colors. This is a tie. This dog's name is Il Isla. Is it Isla? Yeah, Isla is the dog's name. But I loved the very pastel colors. It looks like Easter with the colors on that dog. So that one is $5 for the Thai Boo. Great colors for Easter. All right, then I have a rabbit. 
Um, I just had this image of airdrop packages of goodies landing on your lawn. <laughs> I know. You know, when, when the drones come out to deliver packages, I just might have to do that, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so this is a cute little rabbit. Its name is Marshmallow. <laughs> I, have, I have a really big space out here. You could you could totally parachute them in. <laughs> My neighbors could help gather everything up. <laughs> so this is Marshmallow the Rabbit. It is a tie. It's got a cute little ribbon, little floral ribbon around its neck. So absolutely adorable, very bushy looking. But that is $5 for Marshmallow the Rabbit. Then I have this blue one. This one's name is Spring. March 7th. Oh, so close. One of these days, I'm going to open this up. And it's going to be the, the the date today. I don't know if they did any leap year. I'll have to look that one up. So this one's name is Spring. It is a beautiful blue rabbit. They would, they would probably have fun with it. <laughs> and Sharon is in for Spring. He's got really pretty blue eyes and a little pink bow. And we will count that down for Sharon. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Sharon. Thank you. Well, Tracy, you know what? You have, you have, let me, oh, I haven't opened up my, oh, I didn't. Hang on a sec. Let me get, are you going to let me? Now it's going to be super slow. Um, so because you guys know, if you leave comments, don't forget to leave your comments. There are some of you who are very good about leaving your comments. But everybody, it's free. It is free. All you have to do is leave a comment. Um, let me find Tracy up here because Tracy is one of the people who is very good about leaving comments. And Tracy has won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight times Tracy has won. And what Tracy has won by winning eight times is she has racked up $16 of credits. So Tracy, um, you know, shipping costs plus an item, it's getting, it's getting close to free. Just saying, it's getting pretty close to free. And I do appreciate every time that Tracy puts in comments. You put in a comments on my shorts, put in comments on my lives, put in comments on my videos, and you get entered. And over the course of time, Tracy's won enough. She's won eight times so far since I've started doing this. Um, yeah, because because she's pretty consistent. She's pretty consistent every day going in and leaving comments on all my videos, leaving comments on all my lives, and it does add up. So yeah, real people do win and the credits don't expire. And like Tracy, they just keep building. 
So, um, yeah, yeah. So, you know, anytime, Tracy, you've got $16. Now that's for items plus shipping plus any combination. So you're getting pretty close to a free item. Um, but I greatly, greatly appreciate all of the comments. I, I am, I know, I am behind this week in getting to all of my comments and getting replies out and getting them added to the sheet. Um, but between now and Friday, <laughs> I will be getting it done so that we can do the drawings on Friday. <laughs> Um, all right. I've got one more plush. This is not a tie, but look at these wonderful colors. Oh, they are so cute. I know a lot of people have won a couple of times and all you got to do is leave comments and it's free. And, you know, it helps, it helps me. It helps my channel. And, um, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch a little bit, put a comment in. Um, it really does help. Uh, this is from 1999. This cute little rabbit in all of his wonderful Easter colors. He's got a little cotton tail. <laughs> I know and it and it is totally random. You know, uh, that's that's why I I put the names in, you guys give me a number, I shuffle them up and then and then it's just random. But it is fun that way. It is a lot of fun. And um and you don't have to be present to win on Fridays, although it is fun. <laughs> and just a reminder, um because depending on what time, when the babies come home from the hospital, um, Sue will be, you know, will be over at her daughter's house uh, for a large, for, for a few weeks, you know, for a good chunk of time. Um, I will be having this week, again, it, it depends on, on if, if the babies are still in the hospital on Friday, then Sue will be joining us. Um, but if the babies are home, then Sue might be able to pop in for a little bit. But I will be having Mary from Ancestral Beginnings. She will be joining Aaron and myself and maybe, maybe not Sue um, for, um, for Friday night. So it is still going to be a lot of fun on Friday and yeah, feel free to join us. Um, we, we have a good time and Denise is in now, Denise, are you in for this rabbit or did you want, did you want the March? Oops. Which one was March? Oh, he was March. Wasn't he? He was March. Oh yeah, he was the March one. Okay. Uh, they are both girls. They're both girls. Yep, twin girls. So I do see Denise in for the rabbit, correct, Denise? I just want to make sure. Um, oh, you had wanted the March. Okay. That one, yeah, that one had been claimed. All right. So we are going to pass on that one. And then I've got one more item. And then we'll do the speed round. Oh, and I do want to mention on Saturday night for my late night sale this week, I will be having Gina, a Southern Siren Vintage and Cricket Harrington join me uh, for my Saturday sale. Um, so that is going to be fun. All right. My last item does have a $20 start to it. And it is, let me get it up here. And let me get it plugged in. Uh, this is a light up Easter basket. It does light up with, um, here we go. It does light up with fiber optics. So, well, the base lights up with a bulb. The bulb is in there. 
Um, but over here, we've got fiber color changing fiber optics with the flowers. You can see them kind of changing into different colors. Then uh, in the front here, we also have some fiber optics with the flowers. The butterfly is lined with the fiber optics, and you can see it is color changing. The sign also, all the little fiber optics around the edge of the sign that says Happy Easter. The bunny's bow tie, there's fiber optics here that light up. This butterfly also lights up, and you can see all the different color changing that it does. And his ears light up also. All right, so that one is 20 for all of the wonderful ways that this one lights up. Here is the back of the bunny. So yeah, a really cute light up Easter basket. And I'll point out where all the fiber optics are again, right back here, right up front, this butterfly, the sign, his bow tie, this butterfly, and the ears. And the base lights up also. All right. So that one is available for 20. And let's see, we are going to go ahead and do the speed round. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. And. Let's see, let me clear my screen. Maybe, there we go. All right, so we are gonna go back to $1. This is a Pez dispenser. It is a cute little bunny rabbit. It's got the feet on it. This is $1 number two. $1 number two for the Pez dispenser. I have one of these. Um, nope, not that one. This one. Okay. I have a decoupage egg that has a broken ear. I do not have the ear. And oh, Mary Ellen is taking the Pez. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Um, I don't have the ear for this one, but he does have a cute little straw hat. Uh, this one is going to be $1 number five. $1 number five for this one. And it does have a broken ear, but you can hang it. Um, okay, then I've got a pair of earrings. These are cute little rabbits on eggs. They are on hooks. So cute little rabbits on little Easter eggs. Uh, these are $2 number eight. $2 number eight. Oh, I think he's playing a fiddle. Now that I get in close, yeah, he's he's a musical rabbit playing his fiddle. So $2, number eight. Uh, the flower stamp could be an orchid, could be a daffodil. This It's marked top there, so you know which way is the top. And, um, oh, Susical is going to take the earrings. Thank you, Susical. So this little flower stamp is $2, number 12. $2, number 12. Gotcha, Susical. Thank you. Um, oh, 
the this little figurine it does have a little damage right on the back but it is a really cute little bear with a basket and a flower hat it is from 1993 hand cast hand painted and it is two dollars number 15. two dollars number 15. Oh, yeah. Oh, bear hat. Yes. Bear hat. I'm reading my notes and how I <laughs> described things. That's right. That one is $2, number 15. And then this one is the Hong Kong, Hong Kong plastic rabbit with the little straw hat. Get in here so you can see he's got blue. He is marked Hong Kong on the bottom. He is $3, number 19. $3, number 19. Uh, this is a bracelet with faux stones. They are not real. They're plastic beads made to look like stones. A pretty aqua color has a little rabbit charm on it. It's very lightweight uh, because these are not real stones. Uh, this is $3, number 20, $3, number 20. And thank you, Jan. Jan is in for number 19. And the bracelet was number 20, $3, number 20. All right, then I've got the earrings. I do have a pair of them, but I'm just going to show one because it's just easier to show one. Uh, this one with the chick, the house, egg shapes, flowers. This is $3, number 22 for the pair, $3, number 22. Uh, the birdhouse. All right. This one is just a birdhouse. I don't see a bird. Just a birdhouse. This is a $3, number 23 for these earrings. The rabbit with the Easter egg. Uh, $3, number 24. And these are for a pair of earrings. I'm just showing one, but you get the pair. That was $3, number 24. These ones with the bluebird. The bluebird. Uh, these are $3, number 25. This pair of earrings with the yellow bird. $3, number 26. Uh, the Pink Rabbit. This is a pair of earrings. $3, number 27 for the Pink Rabbit. And then the Aqua Rabbit. This is $3, number 28. Okay, uh, the sheep stamp. This is a bigger three by three inch stamp. This is $3, number 30. $3, number 30, sheep or lamb. Cute for Easter. Okay, then we've got the egg with the rabbit holding the chick and the duck. Oops, slippery. That one is $3, number 37. And then this egg with the little chick and the bow, 
And oh, Barb is going to take the bluebird earrings. Thank you, Barb. Uh, let's see, the bluebird. The chick with the bow is $3, number 37. $3, number 37 for this little chick with the bow. And the Easter tree is $5, number 45. $5, number 45 for the pink Easter tree. Oh, okay. I'm missing one of them. Uh-oh. Rabbit with the chicks. All right. I did not write one of them down. Let me find it and see um nope that one's with the eggs that's with the flowers that's with the carrots that's with the flowers that's with the bunnies why do i not have oh the rabbit with the chip okay got it never mind i did have i had good notes i just couldn't read them Okay, and then we've got, oh, the plushes. All right, the gnome is $5, number 46. The dog is $5, number 47. And the marshmallow bunny is five dollars number 48 and the colorful rabbit five dollars number 50 and then the easter basket uh twenty dollars number 51. all right so that is going to do it for me today. I will see you guys uh, back here at this time on uh, or tomorrow on Friday. I will be back for the morning sale and um, and then back for the Sue Spezio show that may or may not have Sue Spezio, but we might have more information on the babies then. Uh, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Have a great bonus day, leap day. And um, I will see you ooh, tomorrow when it is March 1st.